It is first official day of Gutted 2021. Good morning, it's day three at Gutted and it's off to a little bit of a rough start. Lights flashing, police, something. Oh my gosh. No idea what's going on. <gasps> Whee! Right there. Look at that pretty. When you're on hold because you're an idiot and you booked the wrong hotel that you can't get your trailer into. Good morning! It is Monday and we are about to roll out and head to Gutted. We're gonna actually spend more days driving than we will actually at the event. So, um, just really hoping for no hiccups along the way, um, but trying to see the 20 hour drive as an adventure. Hello, it is night one. We made it, we are set up at camp. Um, we feel very fortunate that we were able to get into our spot because a lot of people got stuck getting in here. I think it's only like 8.30 here and we're both exhausted. When we got here, they said, please no gray water, like don't dump your gray water on the ground. We are probably not gonna set up the shower tent, which means no one's gonna get a shower for the next three days. Um, it's very dirty, very dusty. I have like dirt in my mouth. I can like hear it in my, my teeth because everything is this powder, this like powdered dust and it is everywhere. So uh, we were not like equipped for that kind of, of, <laughs> of dust. These are Jordan's shoes. They're black, but you wouldn't know that. Are you ready to go to bed? I'm very ready to go to bed. I'm tired. Uh, I think tomorrow we're going to get up when our bodies decide that it's going to get up, um, whether that be our alarm clock or uh, nature. So <laughs> uh, that's about the end of our day, I think. Cheers.
good morning and happy Wednesday. It is first official day of gutted 2021. The schedule today is kind of open. There are a couple workshops this afternoon. We're going to check those out. We're going to go up to the merch tent. And the other good news that sounds really strange, but I don't know, it seems like good news to us, is that this morning the porta potties were delivered. We've been using our cassette toilet for the first time last night and this morning, and it has been an adjustment. This is so totally different from all the camping we've ever done with the Phoenix up until this point. It is, it is so weird walking up to the production tent and seeing people with your own eyes that you've only ever seen on a screen. It's just weird. It's not like celebrity feel. It's not like starstruck. It's just kind of like, oh, like you are a real person. This morning we went for a walk and got stuck talking to these people and I could tell, I was like, oh gosh, I'm roasting. We met a lot of cool people, like a lady from France who ended up in the US. We met some people from Michigan. We met people from Maryland. There are people here from Florida. About half the people we've met are full-time nomads. The one fun thing though is that we did get contacted by um, the photographer videographer who wants to come over and take some pictures and video of our camper. So we've scrambled to pick it up. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. The camper's doing well. It's generated like seven or eight hundred watts of power today. So we're fully charged batteries going into the night. Uh, we got water. And I'm kind of looking forward to sunset. And I think sunset out there is going to be really pretty. upside down yeah okay so hammock about hip level width you want it on your sacrum so lower back above the crack <laughs> Whee! there you go <laughs> easy peasy okay. and you can let go and grab your foot if you want a nice pretty Whee! you're not going anywhere you can fully let go if you want yeah you're holding on from your shoulders you got to make sure they're in but you can also flip up and over <laughs> little pod I'm not here. I've seen no one. You gotta poke your head out so you can get a picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are now on the really bumpy road heading out of the campground for a little excursion. 
with some new friends that we've met at camp. We decided to make the climb up to Zapata Falls. Uh, it's in the San Cristo Range of Colorado. So if you ever come up this way, I highly recommend that you make the climb, make the three and a half mile drive up the dirt gravel road uh, to make it up this far. It's absolutely beautiful. It's nothing I've ever seen being a flatlander before, uh, but really cool. What are you doing? You're working. I'm working. Uh, but hey, check it out. Never leave your table. We can hotspot. Thank you, Verizon. Um, and I can work. I can quite literally work uh, in the middle of a desert, like three miles from a main road, with a whole bunch of other people also living in the desert. And that, that's kind of cool when you think about it. Hello, it is the end of day two at Gutted and we are packing it in for the night. It, this was the busiest day we've had so far. Highlights of day two at Gutted, getting a shower and um, hanging out with friends, new friends we made. We actually went on a little like excursion with them to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. All right, well, we're gonna go to bed and- Well, you're we gonna go to bed, I gotta work. <laughs> and we will see you for day three. Good morning, welcome to day three of Gutted. I am recording this on my phone, so sorry for the quality. But it is day three of Gutted, and it's kind of off to a little bit of a rough start. Um, we got up this morning to get ready for the tiny home tours folks to come over and film our camper. And when I woke up this morning, I had a borderline migraine. Like I felt sick to my stomach and really congested of one side of my head, which is common with this dust. I knew I just needed to get up and get moving, so I'm moving. Hannah and Levi, I'll bring one to you. And we have some pins that are around, so if you guys just share, those are my pins. So if you would share those pins. Here's what I would like you to do on this index card, please. And now 
we're, I think, approaching a police checkpoint of some kind. Maybe my dreams of getting pizza are not attainable. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe that's why the guys were flagging us and saying, don't go, don't go. So we, we just managed to get past the law enforcement officer and he was talking to this other man with this security written on his shirt. And um, he just, I heard them saying something to the effect of, we haven't seen him all day or we don't know where he is. We've got precious cargo in the back seat. A few pizzas, we're gonna see who we can attract to the camper with pizza. Not that we're trying to like get followers with pizza, but you know, that would be also pretty cool. Oh, are we here? Yeah, because as soon as we hit the corner, we turn the pump stop. We are here. Okay, thanks, boss. And the rear end locks up and it goes, nope, we're doing it this way. The pizza. Okay. Oh, the seatbelt fell back. I hope the pizza's okay. Well, this appears better. It does not feel as deep. Oh, well. Well, I guess we're not there yet. We should probably tell someone, Jordan, like oh, this. Hello, hello. Well, it's Saturday morning at 7 a.m. on the dot, and now we are going to try to get out of uh, the campsite at Gutted, and it looks like maybe they've uh, improved it a little bit. So, for Gutted 2021, this is goodbye. Welcome home instead of you have arrived. We are here. I bet we do this again sometime soon. Mm, maybe not soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that is going to be the end of our Gutted 2021 trip to Alamosa in Colorado. Uh, thanks for going along with us for the last seven days, and we hope to see you soon. Bye!